All right, so now what we're going to do is take this box and make sure we can see it in all views. If we can't see it in all views, these things have to be switched around. Okay? So in this view, I can see the box. Good. In this view, I can see the box. Good. And this view, of course, I can see the box. Okay, let's just save the scene. And then we're going to add a few edge loops in here. This is a tool. It's called Insert Edge Loop. And what I'm going to do is insert an edge loop every time I see a form change. And I'll show you what a form change looks like. From here to here, this is a form change. So I'm going to insert an edge loop. From here to here, there's a form change because this goes up. So I'm going to put an edge loop. From here to here, there's a form change. And from here to here, there's a form change. The rest of it's a straight line back. Okay. Now, all I have to do is take the vertice and then move it and move these into position. And if you need to lock the layer, you can lock this layer so you can't grab any of the vertice on the actual uh, image planes. So once we're done with this, we can show that everything is lined up perfectly. We can move these into position. And these points of reference can be now shown here. Do these points of reference line up? No. In fact, all I do is I have to untoggle my layer, go into object mode, and now move this to correspond to those reference points, but I can't see them now. I go to shading, wireframe unshaded. And now I can see my reference points. So I move this up just a little bit. And now all points of reference should match. Alright, now that all the points of reference match, please meet me in the next video where we start modeling.